Hi, everybody. I'm going to make a really quick banana bread. I do it all in one bowl. I have three, three to four bananas always uh, reserved in the freezer. I just put them in as they start to go bad. I add a three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, two eggs that have been sitting on the counter, and I incorporate all this together. I do this really fast, probably, like I said, under three minutes. My oven is at 350. And it does bake for probably 45 to 50 minutes. Check it around the 45 minute mark. Every house is different because the humidity is different in the house. I do four tablespoons of goat yogurt rather than using a half a pound of butter because that's what it calls for. And then I just use a quarter cup of butter that's at room temperature. Now I mix all this in really, really well. Now you're gonna see lumps of butter in this. Don't worry about that. It melts right into the bread. It's it's such an easy, quick bread. You can also add about a cup of walnuts into this, a half a cup of chocolate chips. You can drizzle peanut butter into it. It's totally up to you. Mix all this really well till it's all incorporated. A splash of vanilla. And I like to add um, a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of baking powder rather than a full one of each. Um, it makes the cake stay a little lighter and a, um, not as dense for some reason with the yogurt. It's a little different texture when you use yogurt rather than butter, right? Mix that all really well. See how there's little lumps in there of butter? Love it. That'll melt right in while you're baking it. So don't panic about that, that it's not incorporated well. There's two cups of sifted flour into this, and I just use an all-purpose flour. Um, I've tried it with um, almond flour and that. Didn't care for it as much. I tried it with oat flour. It wasn't too bad with the oat flour. But I just have this on hand, and it's a quick and easy recipe that anybody can make up just before you, you know, make it up for your lunches, just before bed. It's hot, ready in the morning, things like that. Take it to a party. It freezes amazing, just so you know. So once this is all incorporated, I did already spray a pan with Pam. A pan with Pam. That's what a mouthful. Or you can grease it with butter if you choose to. I'm putting it all into the, to the baking pan now. And I'm just going to spread it around a little bit evenly. And I'll put it in the oven for 45 minutes. Check it at that point. If it's not done, I'll do about another five never usually more than 55 minutes okay i just made myself a coffee and the banana bread is about five minutes away i just checked it and i'm going to pull it out of the oven set it on the board and let it cool down i'll probably end up freezing it because if i don't i'll eat it so i'm gonna have a coffee i just had uh my lunch i had egg salad with cilantro and green onions and balsamic vinegar glaze I love that one. Okay, I'm gonna go sit down for five minutes here and I'll show you the bread when it's done. Okay, banana bread's done and out of the oven. Looks really good. I let it cool now for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna try a piece, I'll let you know. Looks amazing. Gotta put some butter on that. I just washed the covers for my uh, chaise lounge. Putting them back on is never as much fun as taking them off. I have to do my sofa in that as well. I washed all the pillows. I have a little leak in my um, duck cover there. As you can see right there, I patched it, but it's not working. So I have to order a new one because I am not bringing this in and out every day. It looks beautiful when it's out there and I love it, but we've had so much rain. It's just crazy. So I'm going to get on Amazon and order one right now. Good morning, everybody. I'm kicking myself right now. Every year I scrub my terrace, uh, treehouse terrace up here down with the orange cleaner and scrub it really with on um, my hands and knees basically like scrubbing a floor. And this year I just said, oh, it doesn't need it. But now it's really showing that it does need it. And there'll be a drastic change in what happens when I'm finished. I just started over there as you can see the difference already. Anyways, long story short, now I got all the plants here, it's very, Oh, I got to move everything. So sometimes don't put off what you have to do in the beginning to save time because now it's more work doing it this way. So I, what I do is I spray everything down really good with this orange cleaner that I have in a bottle and I've been already scrubbing this spot. And then I take the scrub brush and I really scrub it. I usually let the orange cleaner sit on there for a minute and then I scrub it really clean 
and I'm gonna move the barbecue here in a minute, but I one thing at a time. And then I gotta get all back in there, move this plant more, but I'm just trying to show you until I have no more room to work. So, moral of my story here is, just do it in the beginning, you don't have to do it. And then all the stuff's out here. So, got my chaise lounge to put back together. Just ordered a new cover and washed all that up yesterday and I'll put all that back up. It'll look all beautiful when I'm all done. I'll show you, but so yeah, don't put off what you can do in the beginning for later on. Well, it's all cleaned up. I moved things around. I have a little more scrubbing to do over here, but my arm's killing me, so I'll do it in the morning. But most of it's done. And I replaced a few things and moved things around. Everything's coming in really good. Nasturtiums are getting really big. The geraniums are doing good. They might get drowned out back there. I'm going to have to try to pull that down. Um, it's always something, right? This is doing really well. Looks good. Um, I think my um, cilantro got too much water through the rain and the deck's all scrubbed down. Yeah, so it looks good. Lots of color going on over there. I, I use this blanket at night if I get chilly when I sit out here and I light my candelabra and I notice the candles are crooked in there, but I don't even care. <laughs> and then I, I bought a little light for in here for my, um, so like, a solar one so it comes on at night which is really nice and my bunnies are down there now and my tomato plants doing absolutely wonderful it's got eight or nine little cherries on there so it's looking good all clean the deck's clean and next year i'll do it before i put everything out that was way too much work moving this furniture around but she's done for today oh i gotta move that planter back into the middle right there that's usually where I keep her. I just moved it to wash things down. It's looking good. I brought my pretty vase out here for a little pop of color. I don't have as many flowers as last year. And my rose bush on the other side, she's got four or five buds. Hold on, let me see. You see, she's got four, five buds coming in. There you go. Okay. This is all, everything's fresh and clean. It smells wonderful out here like orange cleaner. My lemon tree is doing really well. I, I uh, pruned her back a little bit, but boy, though, when you cut those leaves, oh my God, the smell is amazing. Yeah, this one's struggling a little bit. And this side, um, the potato vine always does better. If I could pick them up and rotate them, but they weigh like 50, 60 pounds once they're full. And I just can't do it. But if I have a man come over, not, or I know a man, or if my son-in-law was here, I'd have him rotate them for me. But it'll it'll feel fine. This is actually maybe better because then this little English garden can fill in and the potato vine's not in its way blocking the sun, right? So I am going to close. Um, and I'm going to go work downstairs for a while. I'm really, my arm's really sore from scrubbing on my hands and knees, but it looks 100% cleaner and 100% better. I do have this section to finish up over here, which I'll do tomorrow morning. And that's my favorite bunny. Rose and I got him on a road trip. I love him. He's had his day. He's a little shabby, but I moved my new bunnies down there. Oh, and look at my um, chives. Not doing well. They, I overwintered them from last year. They were thriving and now they're not. So I might just buy a quick plant and put it in there. Yeah. Nasturtiums are coming in down there. This um, orange mint is probably going to smother everything, but I bought it for a filler. Do you think that was just a tiny little plant? And in, what, two, three weeks? Look what it did. Okay. She took a beating in the storm last time. Her leaves got all ripped. We had a big, big rainstorm here, so... But other than that, everything's good. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for all my subscribers. Love you. Bye. Sexy times.